Hey everyone, it's Aubrey from Chronically Fantabulous. Um, you can see I'm sans makeup, I'm all washed up for the day. My, that's why the curls are all piled on top of the head. Also because my AC unit keeps freezing up and it feels like it's 100 degrees in the house. But anyway, um, wanted to um, give y'all a little tip of the trade, I guess, um, especially for any of you that are like me and plagued by dry skin. Um, this is a fairly, um, relatively speaking, it's a new occurrence for me. It's only been in the past um, two years that I've had to deal with dry skin. Always before that, it was oily skin that I dealt with. Um, but the I'm learning that autoimmune means dry skin and it sucks but there are ways to deal with it just like there are ways to deal with oily skin they both suck but anyway so first step that I take in my nightly routine is this stuff this is the best stuff ever um, takes off everything on your eyes waterproof mascara not a problem you just swirl it on. You'll look like you have been in a bar brawl, but swirl it on for a little while. Wipe it off with tissue. Everything's gone. No greasy feel, no oily, nothing. It's awesome. And I have, in the past six months or so, switched to this cleanser. Um, from what I used to use, I used to use an Olay cleanser and I used it for several years, but then I found that it was really drying my skin. So I switched to this Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. It's what I couldn't remember <laughs> during my Julep review. Um, and it's great. It doesn't have a strong scent to it. It is very, very gentle. Um, I don't get... Um, dry patches. I might get some tight feelings sometimes, but I don't really get dry patches um, like I was with the Olay stuff. So Neutrogena all the way for me, personally. If you still have issues with dry skin, I still um, I'd highly recommend this new Julep Bare Face Cleansing Oil. It doesn't foam up, obviously. It's an oil and you apply it to your dry skin and then use warm water to wash it off. Um, sounds weird, I know. Um, it was a little off-putting to me when I first tried it, but it worked very, very well and no dryness whatsoever, obviously. Um, the rosehip seed oil in it is um, very nourishing, um, I found. Um, but even with the ultra gentle cleanser that I use. I still have days when, you know, the weather's dry, especially during the winter time. Um, and, you know, let's face it, fall's here. What weather's going to start cooling down and winter's coming up. And that's, it wreaks havoc on my skin now. It used to be that summer wreaked havoc on my skin. Now I'm flip flopped around. And I don't know if that's because I'm getting older. I didn't think I'd have to worry about that at 33, but, you know, who knows. So, what I do now is I swear by argan oil. And you can get it in lots of places. You can go to Sephora and get Josie Moran and spend an arm and a leg for it if you'd like to. I get it from Julep because if you buy a box from Julep, that month you have access to the secret store and about every two or three months they'll have their elixir which is basically just argan oil uh, on sale for twelve dollars I think for this one ounce one ounce bottle I've had this one ounce bottle for six months and I have used looks like half of it maybe a little less than half because you only need a few drops at a time. I mean, literally one drop on your lips, done. It is the most moisturizing stuff you can get for your skin, for your hair, for your nails, for everything. 
it is amazing. I use an argan oil based serum for my hair because obviously it's curly. Curls equals frizz, you know, dryness. Um, I swear by the stuff. I don't know who found it and just, you know, decided that, hey, we should try this on people's skin and hair and nails and stuff and see how it works. But whoever that person is, I love you because this has changed my life. But not just this, because this alone wasn't enough. This is my other secret. Vitamin E. And I don't swallow it. I take enough pills. Um, y'all don't even want to see my pill thing every day. So, I'm going to show y'all what I do on nights. I do this about twice a week um, just to keep my skin moist. So, here's what I do. Um, I take my argan oil. I'll drop about one, two, three, four, five drops in my hand and close it up. And then I take my little vitamin E thing. I take a pen. Well, if I can pick it up, take a straight pen and I poke a, p a hole in it. Okay? And I squeeze it out. Squeeze the stuff out right into my hand, right on top of that argan oil. And then I mix it up. And I normally do this in my bathroom, but the lighting in there is abysmal. So I'm going to do it in here in my living room. That's why I went ahead and washed my face first. So I could come out here and do this in front of y'all. And I mix it up, and then I slather it on. And I will warn you, your face will feel oily afterwards. But for those of us with dry skin, that's not such a bad thing. So, you slather that on. By morning time, your face will not feel oily anymore. It will feel moisturized. It'll feel, you know, nice and supple and awesome. I'm realizing I'm, I say that a lot. Might need to stop that. Or my kids are going to start saying that a lot. And they're going to start sounding like, you know, guys from Dude Where's My Car. So, then I take the rest... And I slather it down here. And that's it. And you can see there's a shine to my face. And it's because the argan oil, if you if I was just using the argan oil, it would just soak it right up. Um, if you ever used argan oil and just put some on your hand, it would. It just it just soaks it right up and it's oh it's amazing. It's so moisturizing. Nails, same thing. That vitamin E, though, it is so, so good for your skin. And the reason I started using it is because my sister is a massage therapist, but she also um, makes her own body scrubs and facial stuff and all. And she told me that her um, the stuff that she uses to give facials is pretty much vitamin E with some essential oils and um, sugary stuff in it. And so I asked her, I said, you mean vitamin E like the capsules you're supposed to swallow? She said, yep, that's the stuff. So I started getting that, mixing it with my argan oil, and it works. And oh, and the other benefit to argan oil on your face, it treats acne. I never in a million years having grown up as a teenager with not horrendous acne. I know a lot of people who had worse acne than me, but I am still prone to acne at 33 years old, which, ugh, you should not have to worry about wrinkles and acne at the same time. That's just not fair. But anyway, I never would have thought that an oil would treat acne, but this does. So there's another tip for you. If you have acne issues, argan oil. And like I said, you can find it lots of places. Do a search online. Look on Amazon. Look in your health food store. Look in Walmart. I don't know. Um, I avoid that place at all costs. So it could be there. It could be at CVS or Walgreens. 
but find you some argan oil. Um, and like I said, if you've got some dry skin, mix the two of these and let me know how it works for you. I'll talk to y'all later. Stay fantabulous.